but let's start with uh, Chris Cuomo. So they're saying he's suspended indefinitely because they feel misled about the extent to which he was involved in advising his brother. At first, I thought to myself, oh, they knew what he was doing. But, you know, when I took a closer look at what Chris Cuomo, how he described what he had done, and then what the newly released documents from the New York State AG Letitia James show, um, there is a stark difference between what he admitted to and what he was really doing. Your thoughts on it? Thanks, Megan. I'm really thrilled to be with you. Um, look, I, I think the Chris Cuomo story just speaks for itself. The documents there show that he misled the viewers. He misled CNN about his involvement with his brother. You know, no one would really blame a brother for wanting to help, um, you know, out when he's in trouble. But he went far and beyond uh, anything that was appropriate or ethical by using uh, it appears his journalistic contacts and sources to find out information that would be damaging to the women who were coming out against his brother and accusing him of sexual harassment. So, um, I mean, that that's really journalistic malpractice. And I guess it's not really a surprise considering how incredibly callous the pair of them were. I know, um, I mean, your friend Janice Dean on Fox News lost her in-laws and she speaks about the devastation that they were feeling at the very time that uh, the Cuomo brothers were having this comedy routine on air. The, you know, if anyone knew what how many people were dying and why they were dying in nursing homes, it was Andrew Cuomo. Mm -hmm. And so it takes a really special kind of sociopathy to be able to lark it up on television when you're responsible for so many deaths. Janice Dean, um, she started speaking out about it, saying you issued this order. It resulted in the death of uh, now we know 15 plus thousand people in the New York State nursing homes. She started to say, I'm upset. And, you know, I, my husband's parents are now dead. And Governor Andrew Cuomo's office attacked her. They attacked her as yeah. just the meteorologist. And she's not an expert in anything but the weather. Well, she still got her job and Andrew Cuomo doesn't. Now it appears Chris Cuomo may have lost his. Um, and she said that that moment when Andrew went on Chris's show, Chris Cuomo took out the big Q-tip, ha, 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 joking around, mm -hmm. oh, this is what you'd need for a COVID test with your nose, yeah. was the moment that did it for her. Like the the, the cavalier callousness, the sort of, you know, promoting his brother. And, and one of Chris, uh, Chris Cuomo's lies was that when he interviewed his brother, which was an exception, I guess, to the longstanding CNN policy that didn't allow him to do that, their quote, that, that it was, quote, long before any kind of scandal. OK, that's a lie. He interviewed Andrew Cuomo nine times between March 19th and June 24th, 2020. Uh, as of May, which last time I checked is before June, uh, Andrew Cuomo was taking fire for the nursing home story. Uh, I just pulled up just one before we got on the air. Uh, the Guardian had a piece May 26 talking about how he had granted liability to nursing home and hospital execs uh, for the way they dealt with COVID patients. And the critics said this proves that you're basically allowing um, corners to be cut when it comes to the care of seniors and all of the he'd already issued the order mandating that the covid positive patients go into the nursing. Anyway, none of that was discussed. But the other thing I wanted to ask you about is he says specifically to the audience, to CNN, I'm not an advisor, I'm a brother. But now we see in these documents, Miranda, he is an advisor. He's out there saying, please let me help with it with his preparation, you know, before he goes forward uh, with his interview with the AG. Call me, he says to the Cuomo's top eight. I have a lead on the wedding girl, one of his accusers. This is Chris Cuomo. Um, Melissa DeRosa, this top eight, says rumors are going around from Politico. One to two more people coming out tomorrow. Can you check your sources? Chris Cuomo, on it. Text back. No one's heard that yet. We looked into whether Ronan Farrow was about to move yeah. on a source. Reported back on that. And then here's the most egregious one. He said uh, in his testimony to Letitia Jane, to Letitia Jane's, um, I would never do oppo research on anybody alleging anything like this. I'm not in the oppo research business. And then another one of Andrew Cuomo's aides, Liz Smith, Lee Smith testified. Um, Chris Cuomo sent e-messages to us about one of the accusers, Charlotte Bennett, and forwarded tweets from her. Apparently he dug up during her college years to the governor's advisors. What's that? That's not oppo research. He lied over and over to cover his brother's butt and then his. Yeah, it's so egregious. Uh, that's a, a litany of uh, real journalistic um, malpractice is the only way I can put it. It's um, unethical and it's dishonest and it's uh, something that really shames CNN. I, 
I mean, I guess it's not surprising, but um, uh, the fact that CNN has, uh, you know, indefinitely suspended him, presumably on full pay, and presumably they'll just wait until the heat dies down, if it does, and bring him back, um, mm. just as they did with Jeffrey Tubin. Right, so right. Um, I, I, the only the only uh, light at the end of the tunnel is that CNN is under new management, and uh, there was some indication the other day that uh, they want the the network to go back to doing proper journalism as it used to. Uh, mm-hmm. CNN is not what it used to be. It, it, you know, when it started, it was this magnificent twenty four hour news cable operation, a real groundbreaking. Uh, they covered you know the first Iraq war and um, did some magnificent reporting. Um, but it's just sort of degenerated into this um, very ugly uh, sort of opinion fest and uh, very sloppy reporting. And the, the the viewers have just viewerships collapsed as a result. Mm-hmm. That's right. I mean, Jeff Zucker's still running the actual entity, CNN, but above him, there's been a shift in ownership and management and ultimately control. Um Charlotte Bennett, the woman who Chris Cuomo was digging up dirt on, issued a statement saying, in part, CNN must immediately take action. They're saying they're going to investigate. She said the network need not investigate his behavior. The investigation is over. And yesterday we received answers. Just like his older brother, Chris Cuomo used his time, network and resources to help smear victims, dig up opposition research and belittle are credible allegations. His behavior is reprehensible, unprofessional, and inexcusable. She says, anything short of firing Chris Cuomo reflects a network lacking both morals and a backbone. This is how Chris Cuomo, who we now know was digging up dirt on Charlotte Bennett, among others, wedding girl, and on and on it went, criticizing Lindsey Boylan, one of the other accusers. This is how he portrayed himself, Miranda, when the scandal broke on the air. This is Soundbite 8. I'm aware of what's going on with my brother. And obviously, I cannot cover it because he is my brother. Now, of course, CNN has to cover it. They have covered it extensively, and they will continue to do so. I have always cared very deeply about these issues, and profoundly so. Oh, profoundly cares about sexual harassment while he digs up dirt. You, he's broken trust and faith with his audience, his staff. He's embarrassed CNN. And I agree with Charlotte Bennett. It, it, from the moment he did his fake exit from his basement while he was parading all around the Hamptons yeah. having COVID and pretending he wasn't, right, to his weird muscle building routines that he does all the time at Post Online <laughs> Bazaar, um, to the harassment of Shelley Ross, which came out, which he doesn't deny, happened before uh, CNN, but it, it happened. She went on the record. He humiliated her to the forcing out of another executive producer of his who was female because of his bully tactics, something CNN has not denied to now this, the the interviewing of his brother, the lack of journalistic integrity, the lies about there being no scandal when he was doing it, the lies about whether he was an advisor, the lies about I would never do op. He's done. He's he's done. He's told more lies than Brian Williams ever did. Um, And he needs to be out on his ear, if you ask me.